The world is just a little bit crazy and it's getting worse, but someone who always helps us make sense of it all is Tim Blair, who writes for the Daily Telegraph and blogs to the nation from there as well. Good to talk to you, Tim. Absolutely, my friend. And you're right, the world is becoming crazier and that's when people like me, that's when we kick in, man. We, we become the pros. <laughs> when the world gets crazy, the crazy kicks in. Well, what about this? Let's talk about uh, Chelsea Mitchell, uh, a, a star athlete, female from the state of Connecticut mm -hmm. in the US, but she keeps coming up against biological males, transgender athletes. Listen to her explain it here. Yearwood is a sophomore at Cromwell High School. Born a boy, she's now transitioning and runs track and field on the girls' team. I raced against biological males all four years of high school. Kind of started out on, you know, losing a medal or losing the opportunity to advance to the next level of competition. But by my junior year, I was losing state championships. I lost. Tim, it's just wrong. It's just unfair. It's just in, she's suing the state now because of this. Yeah, it's not really what uh, what Chelsea and other female athletes signed up for, competing against blokes. It's a whole different deal. If you if you're signing up for that, you 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 know you something's gone wrong somewhere along the line. One of the one of the things about this debate about uh, trans uh, athletes that's so significant is that trans activists really really hate this debate when it comes to athletes. It it. It so perfectly encapsulates the unfairness, as you say, it's an unfair situation. It perfectly captures it and it leaves out all of the other kind of theoretical or arguments about gender or arguments about, you know, science or arguments about, you know, uh, human design or whatever. All of that's put aside. You've got blokes competing against women in women's sport and that is just wrong. Yeah, it's just wrong and we can accept people for whatever they're, they're identifying as, but it's just that biologically they're male, therefore they can't run in, in the uh, female races. Here's a little bit more from Chelsea when she did some media interviews on this. I raced against these two biological males who ended up taking four state championships. It's not fair that these biological males took these titles from myself and other girls, and so the record should reflect that. But also, we want the policy reversed so that no other female in Connecticut has to go through the same thing that I went through. Yeah, it's incredible stuff. Uh, and what, what astounds mm. me, Tim, is uh, how many uh, sporting bodies have trouble dealing with this. Uh, we reported yeah. last week how Tennis Australia is uh, campaigning globally to make sure that transgender people can still play women's tennis. Absolutely. And one of the more imp impressive aspects of what's overall not a great situation is how articulate, forceful, informed and uh, communicative are the various young athletes who are impacted by this, the various young women. There are several, uh, some more prominent than others. But this is a great, powerful young generation of women who will not be denied, just as previous generations of women have fought for the right not to be denied. They're taking up that, uh, that cause and good on them. Yeah, absolutely. It is about women's rights, so female rights after all. Uh, let's have a look at somebody who's been a pretty prominent campaigner. <laughs> she's popped up again, Greta Thunberg. <laughs> We're celebrating the fact she finished school the other day. She's turned 20, mm. finished school, but she's been arrested again, protesting, claiming that we're all about to die, the climate the crisis and whatever. I mean, I just get sick of these sort of staged protests, Tim. It's just, you know, turn the page. And so she's finished school. She's graduated somehow without going to it, which is... <laughs> I, I, I want to re-enrol. I'll finally, be, I'll finally get my HSC, if that's the standard that they have in Malmo, Sweden. So she's, uh, she's cruising by, and uh, every time she wants to get attention, she... Get this, Chris. When she wants attention, she does nothing. She just sits down. That, like, th this is incredible. Like, she's got such a great deal here. Her publicist has the easiest job on earth. Like... Great, we've got to get you in the headlines again. Oh, I'll just go over here and sit down and do nothing. Oh, <laughs> great idea, girl. You know, you go, girlfriend. Yeah, that's great. You know, yeah. cops show up. It's all, you know, on the news. Yeah, in the old days, it would be a hassle having to organise the photographer. But now, thankfully, everybody's got an <laughs> iPhone, so they got yeah. that covered. Meanwhile, in this country, we are running out of power. And isn't it astounding to hear our energy market operator actually admit, oh, oh yeah, guess what? We don't mm. have enough renewables to replace all the stuff we've forced out. I mean... It just does my head in that we've been talking about this stuff for 10 years or more and they're finally realising it. But their solution, of course, is just to quickly get more renewables in place. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of think maybe some 
investigative type, uh, possibly a journalist at the ABC, if there's any of them left, if they want to dig through the archives, they might find a few stories, maybe, maybe from News Corporation uh, reporters, pointing out that once you knock all the coal facilities out, there might be just a problem getting power to houses at an affordable rate. Just a just a you know, a wild guess there, something for them to to chase up. Yeah, yeah, it might be worth a four corners special. I see, uh, I see Lee <laughs> Sales, the ABC, the former host, who still works for the ABC. I think she's yep. she's backing the ABC's restructuring. They don't need a political editor in Canberra because they're getting more people on TikTok. I'm right behind the Sales uh, push here for getting rid of staff for the ABC. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Appreciate your Cheers, time mate. again.